Hey guys and welcome back and today I have a very special art collab with Claire from Black Summer Coloring. You might have heard me mention her a few times when I was mentioning the ACO April or hashtag ACO April which is what she created uh, where we did ACOs in April and we decided to do a little bit of a collab where we would draw an underwater animal and send each other the line work and have to paint it with watercolor without using the color blue. So as you can see, I am taping off my blue paints on my Koi watercolor set, which I decided to use for this. And I took her line work of this adorable sea turtle and I transferred the lines with my light box to my own watercolor paper. And of course, I ended up using a blue pencil. I ended up using a blue uh, fine liner at the end as well. But for the entire painting, I do not use the color blue. Now, we kind of went back and forth with whether we should be able to use greens or purples and if it should strictly be anything without blue at all, even mixed in. And ultimately, we decided to not use any colors that were specifically labeled as blue, but we could mix other colors and use things like green and purple. I decided to tape my colors off so it was easier for me to not go for them and I basically came at this challenge by thinking basically as warm as I could or kind of the other opposite end of the color palette and started with browns and oranges. I then moved to reds and a little bit of yellow and in my mind, green is kind of the closest color to blue, closer than purple, which I guess doesn't really make sense. So I sort of went in order of what was farthest away from blue to closest to blue at the end to make sure that the majority of the painting didn't have any blue in it at all. So I started with these oranges and browns and eventually get to... Uh, orange and yellow and red, and then slowly move into a purple, a warmer purple in my opinion, and then I move to a green only at the very end. As a lot of you know from one of my more recent videos about uh, my art being calming, I discuss how pretty much in every painting I do, I use blue. A lot of people think, you know, I use green so much because of the plants, but honestly, the base color that I feel really holds all of my style and art pieces together is the color blue. I use blue for line work, like here on the pencil line work, as well as blue ink, and that has been something I typically gravitate towards for all of my art pieces. Uh, I think I gravitate toward blue so much because it's a beautiful color, but I also feel like it meshes beautifully with my two favorite colors, which are green and purple. Since blue is right there next door, it's really easy to be able to have a nice gradient of those three colors and really create cohesion with the color palette. So when we were discussing doing a art collaboration, Claire mentioned not using blue for these pieces, even though they are underwater animals and typically would have some blue, at least in the background for the ocean. Uh, and I mean, turtles do have a little bit of blue on them. I was apprehensive, but thought, okay, this is a challenge. I am going to be challenged by this, and to be honest, I'm actually pretty proud of how this turned out. As you can see, I used a sort of gradation of red, orange, and yellow on the skin of the turtle, and then a cooler red or pink down to a purple for the shell. And I think this created a really cool effect, and I really like how it turned out. It kind of reminds me of a volcano or lava and sort of this idea of sort of this, this turtle being very ancient and maybe a, there's more of a story there of some sort of 
either a fantasy story or fairy tale or something like that where this turtle is maybe made out of volcanic rock and lava and things like that and I thought that was kind of a neat design. I want to do quickly mention a little bit more about Claire and her channel, Black Summer Coloring. She has been on YouTube for a little while now and it's really fantastic to see her channel growing. She does a super big variety of different kinds of art and I definitely think you guys should check out her channel and see how she painted my line art that I sent her. I'll show you a little snippet of my line art at the very end but uh, I haven't seen it yet and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. It was really fun connecting with her uh, throughout the month of April with her challenge that she created, hashtag ACO April, and it was fun to be able to have a little challenge like that where you weren't pressured to make something super big and it felt a lot easier to sort of handle and we had a Facebook group that Claire put together and we were all able to uh, trade if we were interested and even though it was fairly open-ended this year I know that she has been working on creating uh, I believe a sort of prompt list and we'll have more information about that for next year since this was our very first year doing it. And I thought it was a really fun thing and I would love to participate next year as well since I really do like making little mini art paintings. And it was fun to collaborate with everyone just on the challenge and I was really excited when she opened up the idea of being able to collaborate here on YouTube and so I jumped at the chance and this is one of my favorite collaborations uh, mostly because it was I mean the line work was beautiful to work with and I just love this little design it's so cute and it was really a real challenge for me because I I mean I knew that <laughs> I really rely on blue for my cool color palettes and so having a warmer color palette and having to avoid blue was a big challenge for me and I thought it came out pretty well and I still think there's a little bit of that calming nature to it so I think that's really cool that that sort of came through regardless of the color palette and it was fun to use up some paints that I don't use as often and it was just really fun to collaborate like this. This collaboration definitely doesn't make me want to uh, avoid blue whatsoever in the future, but I think I am feeling more and more comfortable between this collaboration and the one with Denise of In Liquid Color, where I did a more realistic uh, animal portrait, which I can have that linked up above. I feel like I'm stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone that I've sort of set up for myself. While I've been making videos on YouTube, I have been sticking with a fairly similar color palette. And to be honest, I did that on purpose to sort of limit the colors I used and only use the ones that I was super comfortable with. And I was always willing to kind of break outside of that when uh, it made the most sense and these challenges have been really great for showing me that I can successfully come up with something that is not something that I'm relying terribly on um, I can I can I guess I feel like I'm sort of building confidence in myself as an artist that I do understand how colors work a little bit better than I might have assumed even if they're ones that are outside of my initial comfort zone. And so this has helped me sort of build that confidence and I feel like I have a better command over a greater range of colors now, which is really fantastic. And uh, I, I really suggest if you're able to either collab with another artist or just do challenges like this that you might not have initially Felt comfortable doing. I mean, you don't have to make a video about it. You don't have to be super public about it, but I think it's really helpful to try out things that are outside of your comfort zone and uh, be open to them not working, but also be open to them working out and being proud of yourself for what you've created, especially if you know it's been a challenge. I think building confidence as an artist is 
probably one of the hardest things you have to sort of figure out and navigate when you create either as a hobby or professionally understanding when you need to give yourself credit for what you've accomplished and being able to take the sort of mess ups and turn that into a valuable learning experience. I think a lot of the time we end up basing our artist identities on our mess ups. I think that's actually a really common factor that complicates things like how we price our work or even the art jobs that we may or may not apply for. Building that confidence can be really difficult, but if you can manage it, that will show in your artwork and I think you'll even improve a lot quicker than you may even expect. Here is the end result. I am actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I did add a little bit of a sort of bluish green kind of on the edges there, but that's as close to blue as I got. Here's a little bit of a detailed shot, and I wanted to mention if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you'd love to stick around and join me on this art journey. But make sure to check out Claire's channel and check out her side of the collaboration. I'm really excited to check it out. Here is the California Sea Lion line work that I sent over to Claire. I really specifically picked out this animal since I am from California and I know Claire is over in the UK and so I thought it would be really fun to send that over to her. And as always, I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day. I will see you next time. Bye guys!